Here we go, we got the brand new Nike outlet. Let's uh, go check it out. Oh, you watched still, man. Yeah. What's your name? Jack. Jack, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, you did a, a thing with proximity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are my friends. Oh, that's sick. So we're here at the Nike outlets right now, and uh, it turns out this location doesn't have any, like, sneakers waiting to be picked up on a regular shelf like most outlets. The entire store is like a giant hash wall. Like, every single sneaker on display has no lid, just like these. So first off, we're going to look at all the size 10 sneakers, see what's good here in my size, and then I'm going to look around the rest of the store and show you guys what else is good here. So, uh, yeah, there's at least, like, five. 500 sneakers here on display. It's gonna be a pretty good time. There is an insane amount of these Nike Hyper Venoms in like every single size. Same with these Kobe's right here, these mid top Kobe's EXT, regularly $290 down to $115. Holy cow. This is pretty dope. They got these right here the Safari Print Air Zoom Talaria 16, regularly $235, now down to $95. We got some Nike Sock Darts, regularly $175, now $50. We got the Jordan Fly 89, which I showed you guys earlier down from $145 to $60. Some yellow Nike sock darts down from $190 to $75. We got some Nike Roshi up tempo 4 FC Quick Strikes. I'm not too crazy about these. Regular price is like $190, now $75. There's also a ton of these Nike sock darts in a bunch of different colorways here. They also got these right here, the Nike Mayfly Leather Premiums. These look a little wonky to me. They got these in a bunch of different colorways. The Nike Air Footscape Wovens. They got them in the yellow. They got them in this color here. Bottom and navy blue also. Size 8 Air Jordan 1s, regularly 215 Now down to 120 Canadian. Not too shabby. Leather quality on these is pretty good as well. They also have a bunch of Nike Hirachis in a bunch of different colorways. This is the gray and black colorway, regularly $165, now $65. They have a bunch of these in a few different colorways and sizes. The Nike Air Force 1 Ultra Fly Knit Mid, regularly $200, now $80. When these first came out like two years ago, I bought two colorways for full retail price. That was $265 after tax, man. There's so many of these Kobe's at this store. These are all size 10. Insane amounts of these here. We got some low top LeBrons right here. Now $80 down from 200. They got the Nike Zoom Kobe Icon. Regularly 200 now 120. Nike gave me the gold colorway of these two years ago I think for the All-Star Weekend. These are everywhere man. The Jordan Westbrook 0.2s. Regularly 190 Canadian. Now $75. This honestly isn't that bad of a shoe. I actually would wear this. I, I might have to cop these man. $75. I think this is one of the original colorways for this sneaker. Really clean. You got this nice black and red suede upper. The other quality is decent. I'm surprised these didn't do as well as I thought they would. I think you had to try and actually got a pair from Jordan Brand as a little gift, but yeah, might have to cop these today too. They got the Jordan Trunner LX, $80 Canadian, used to be $190 in the triple white colorway. Man, I could have bought the OVO version of this at the Jordan store. They were sitting. I think they're absolutely horrendous. I wish I caught them for reseller for trading though, but um, yeah, these are all over the outlets here too. More Nike Hirachis. These are $60, down from $165. These might just be the best sneaker I find here, I think. We got the Air Jordan 1 low retros but this is the swooshless one in that gray colorway these are really really nice man you got the wax laces you got the gold aglets as well going for eighty dollars down from two hundred now this place is loaded with a lot of like nike running shoes and basketball shoes like the selection is really good if you're just looking for nikes but if you're looking for some retro jordans you're gonna have a tough time here this might be one of the better sneakers here the nike lunar charge essential 145 regular price now sixty dollars i really really mess with this colorway it's like a gray cement and white upper definitely a great cop for the spring. Well, oh well, what do we have here? We have the Nike Air Max Zero Quick Strike, one of the first colorways, I think. Now $80. These used to be $200. They got that Air Max Zero tag right there. I don't think all of them come with that tag anymore. Definitely worth considering buying if you just got that one sneaker a year that you're buying. All around good sneaker. Looking around the other sizes now as well, if you haven't noticed, we got the size 11 Lunar Charge Premiums, $190 regular price, down to $75 in this like gray suede material. They also got a couple others in this like green olive pair too. Nike Free Hyper Venoms right here, regular priced at 190 now $75. I like that hit of gold on the back. Really, really nice touch. I had no idea that they made these. Hyper Dunk Low Lux. Now $70 Canadian, down from 180 Got this nice black suede upper to them. Not too crazy about these, but I know people will like these. A few retro Jordans we're gonna find here. Regularly at 200 now $80. These are the patent leather purple Air Jordan 1 highs. These sneakers right here remind me of the MTV show Pit My Ride. Okay, not too shabby. We got the bread colorway of the Air Max Zero in a size 11 and a half for $70 Canadian. 
Canadian. We got another Air Jordan 1 High patent leather, this time in that green colorway. Not too shabby. We got a Nike Outlet Classic, the Nike Flyknit Racers, down from $200, now $80 in this like light blue colorway. And they also got them in this green and white colorway. Pretty crispy for the spring. This right here is actually a really nice colorway of the Air Force One Ultra Fly Knit Low. Reminds me of a pack of Skittles. This is one hairy suede sneaker. These are the Nike Bruin SB Hyper Feel Quick Strike. Regularly $180, now $50. These are really nice for spring and summer. They got low top blazers for $45 Canadian. I love these. I'm in love with these. Low top Air Jordan 31s down from $215 now to $85. Really clean colorway. Definitely can't go wrong with these. They got black suede blazer mids for $50 down from $125. So I found some more retro Jordans. These are a premium release with some light blue suede. These have been labeled a B grade as you guys can see on the label right here. Regularly $215 down to $120. I think it's a label to B grade because the suede looks all duddy and nasty. Oh, oh, we finally found some retros again. This time we found the 15s. I think these are one of the ugliest Jordans to ever come out. Some black and white Hirachis for $50, size eight and a half. This is a steal. This is a straight steal. You can wear these every day too. These look really cool. I'm not sure what exactly these are, but these are samples. It says on the tag, MISC Sample Footwear Code, $40. They're very, very light. They feel like a Nike Court Classic. Uh, low top. We got the perforated swoosh right here. We got a suede panel on the sides right there on both sides. These are ridiculous. These are like lighter than a pair of low top Converse. Size 9. Sample, baby. Here's the sample sticker right side on the insole. You guys can see it is a salesman sample from 2016. And I think they might have another one of these here too. And last but not least, we're here at the largest sizes in the store. Size 14, 15, 16. I'm looking at some of this stuff, man, and it's like bigger than my head. You know, there's quite a few big size sneaker heads that watch in the Sneaker Talk family, so Nike LS definitely a place to go. Check this out, size 15 Flyknit Racers. They even got those Westbrook 0.2s in a size 13. That's size 18 basketball shoes right here. Holy cow, these are freaking ginormous, man. Air Force Ones in a size 13. Regularly $140, now $55. Don't sleep on these if you're on the big foot club. Size 7 at Nike Flyknit Racers in this black in a red colorway. They only seem to have this colorway in size 7. So if you're the small feet gang, make sure you roll through. And so that's going to wrap up our time at the Nike outlet. Now I do want to buy some sneakers for you guys sticking around to the end of the video like usual. So we're going to head to Foot Locker right now. We're going to buy a pair of shoes for you guys. And if you guys want that pair of shoes, hit that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel and drop a comment and let me know what your favorite sneaker you saw was today in today's vlog. One video. Jeez, an OG. Thank you, man. Yeah, the cough the strap. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's so dope. So I had Heading to Full Locker right now, bumped into a subscriber in the washroom, shout out to Moman, been watching since I cut off the Air Force One strap on the mid-breads like a few years ago. All right, here we go, Full Locker. Let's buy some sneakers to give away for this YouTube video. Uncaged? 160, yeah, 165, it's not bad. Yeah. Bumped into another subscriber, so shout out to Jacob. I'm torn between getting these Alpha Bounces right now in a size eight and a half, or these right here, those white and red Puma Clyde that I saw earlier. I'm leaning more towards these Puma Clyde. They look really crispy and clean for the spring and summer. So you know what, let's grab a pair of these. Make sure the pair is clean and crispy for whoever gets it. Yeah, looks good. All right, so we're gonna grab these. These are really surprising to see. They have these here at the Alice already. The EQT Basket Advance. Regularly 120, now $85. These just dropped like a few weeks ago. And they also got these Pharrell's right here in size 7 too. We're back at my house right now. We just got home from the outlets. And today I wanted to show you guys quickly the sneaker for today's sneaker giveaway in today's video. I'm also gonna post a bonus entry over on Instagram and Twitter. So make sure you look out for those if you want to increase your odds at winning these sneakers. But uh, yeah, today we got some Puma Clyde. So the retail price on these was $110. And I picked these up from the outlet for $39.99. That's Canadian. So we're looking at about maybe $30 US for these shoes. And I would honestly keep these myself, but I want to hook somebody up in the Sneaker Talk family. So these right here are the white and red Puma Clydes. Man, I wish I had the sneaker in high school. I was really into Puma in high school, so this would have been a nice, nice sneaker to wear. We got the golden hit right there with the Puma Clyde. We got the red logo on the side right here. We got some extra perforations as well. And then on the very back of the shoe, you got that Puma branding with the Puma Cat up. There's no Puma Cat. And then usually there's like a Puma Cat up here, but there's no Puma Cat on the back tab. We got that, I think it's called a Crep Sole. We got the, the Puma Sole right there. These are a really 
really great pair of sneakers for the spring and summer. All you gotta do is comment down below your favorite sneaker that you saw in today's outlet vlog. You can go back in time if you want, but let me know what the favorite sneaker was you saw in today's video and like the video and of course subscribe to the channel. And I'll announce the winner for these Puma Clydes in a week or two, depending on how my schedule is looking like. But the giveaway is only gonna last for about a week to 10 days. With that said, I wanna give a huge thank you to you guys for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. And uh, if you haven't yet turned on notifications, please do join the notification gang. YouTube's messed up and I need your guys' support now more than ever. Also, huge shout out to you if you were watching the YouTube lives with me gaming. I was playing some Fortnite. I was playing some Overwatch. I didn't play Overwatch. I played some Fortnite. Um, so if you guys want to see streams of me playing Fortnite and playing Overwatch on the channel, then make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out on those live streams. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.